Hi guys, I thought it was about time we caught up each other. Uh, we've had a new tea delivery in, in the last couple of days and we're busy packing, getting ready to put the teas on sale, adding them to the website. And one of the teas that I've just come into stock again, and we haven't had this for a little while, is this really great Malawi Thialo. So I thought we'd enjoy a cup of this together. It's a really fabulous tea. Um, it's a new long tea and they're semi-oxidized teas um, which are somewhere in flavor between green teas and black teas. Um, really flavorful but not strong. Um, great if you like your tea without milk. Um, still plenty of flavor but without the uh, bitterness or astringency that you sometimes get with stronger teas. Now I've got my tea here um, so we'll just give you a look before we brew and you can see hopefully that it's very large leaf it's a really really attractive leaf um, large picking and it's a single bud and a leaf and we're going to brew this time into our oops, glass teapot there we go and I'm using water I've just brought this from the boiler and this is around 90 degrees. And you can see as we're infusing straight away, we're starting to get a lovely golden color coming through. There we go. So we're just gonna let that brew for a little while. Um, now, oolong teas are some of our favorites. And if you know your teas, then I'm sure you really enjoy oolongs. Um, they are, uh, really delicious and normally they come from China um, and Taiwan um, very very popular in Taiwan um, and as the African growers have started to experiment with more artisan production methods um, then though they too have started to make some really interesting oolong teas and as I said this one comes from uh, Malawi and it's going to be um, one of those teas that's somewhere around about 50-60% oxidized and oxidization um, means that the, the flavors allowed to develop a bit, a little bit more fully. To give you an idea, uh, black teas are fully oxidized and they then have the dark color um, and the depth of flavor that we're perhaps more commonly used to in the UK. And because these oolong teas are semi-oxidized, then they're much lighter in flavor, but they still have a really interesting character and aroma. In terms of brewing them, you can brew them as I am, I am here in the Western style. And you can also brew these using the Gong Fu method, which is the Chinese brewing method. Um, and if you're not familiar with that, then in a little while, uh, not today, but in a little while, one of my future videos will be looking at Gong Fu Brewing um, and perhaps you'd like to join me again for that one. Now, in this case, we've got a glass teapot with an infuser and I, as I said, use water about 90 degrees. Um, anywhere between 80 and 90 degrees is really ideal for oolong teas. Don't use water fully from the boil. Um, let it come off the boil a little. Um, in this case, I've just waited about 30 seconds, 45 seconds or so to pour. And brewing time is variable. So it depends really how you want to enjoy the drink. Um, you can pour this lighter. And at the moment, um, this is brewing for around about two minutes. And as you can see, the color is uh, infusing in the teapot, a lovely golden color. And we could let this infuse for another couple of minutes. Um, three, four minutes would be fine, um, but don't let it go beyond four minutes. It's really not a tea to brew strong. Um, otherwise um, you lose some of that delicate flavor. Uh, that's really wonderful. So we're going to go ahead now and pour the tea. Just try and do that a little bit closer for you. 
you can see the colour is very light, golden, beautiful colour. And I'm just going to let that cool a moment. But while it's cooling, I'm going to just remove the infuser. And this is important and modern teapots now if they've got an internal infuser like this um, the intention really is that as soon as you brew the tea you take the leaves out in the infuser so the tea doesn't over brew and now that the leaves are removed the tea is fine while you're drinking this first cup and then when you're ready you can enjoy the second if by any chance um, you want to reinfuse the leaves straight away then that's absolutely fine um, all you need to do is put the infuser back in the pot when it's empty and introduce new hot water and reinfuse the leaves but infuse them a little bit longer on the second brewing to release a little bit more flavor and you can infuse these leaves two three uh, or four times and each time allow a little bit longer in the brew uh, than you did before and still a little bit hot to drink but the smell of this tea is very light it's very clean and crisp and we'll get more of an indication as well from the leaves and what I wanted to do for you is just pour out the leaves because part of the pleasure very often in these oolong teas is in enjoying the appearance of the tea itself so I'll just try and show you that a little bit closer beautiful leaves as you can see and they're just opening out so you can see more clearly that it is buds and open leaves so when it's picked this is going to be the tips of the tea plant the bud and the first and second leaf below and then those teas are those leaves are allowed to dry and then they're rolled so they take on that appearance of the dried leaf and then rehydrate as you can see um, when they're introduced into the water let's go ahead now and try oh this is so good if you like teas um, where even if you haven't tried oolongs before but if you like black teas but you like to brew them light so you pour them quickly um, without milk and you like uh, a refreshing drink that's not overly strong in the cup then I really suggest that you try oolongs um, they're beautifully flavoured and one of the nice things because you can reinfuse the leaves um, these teas might cost you a little bit more than others to buy um, this one is 6.90 a packet here but it's going to be um, a tea to really enjoy it's a tea for the evening when you're relaxing and you've got time to sit with your tea uh, and you've got time for a second infusion of the leaves a little bit later on in the evening so you can really savour each brewing of the tea and also if you've got uh, a friend who likes different teas this will make a, a really nice gift for them um, something really special so I'm going to carry on enjoy, enjoying my brew um, and I hope you too are enjoying some good tea today And if you haven't tried oolong teas before, this Malawi Athialo or any of the oolongs that we have on our website uh, are really worth having a go. So enjoy your teas. We'll speak soon. Take care, guys.